My name is Noriko. I've been married to my husband Koji for almost a year. Our relationship is strong, and I get along well with my in-laws that live far away. Well, if I'm being honest, it was never always so perfect. In fact, there was a bit of an argument. Koji is from an old fishing town with many senior citizens living in the area. His parents originally wanted us to live together with them. Since Koji didn't want me to feel pressured, he declined his parents' offer saying that living together is too old-fashioned, and Koji's parents held a grudge against that. It was during the first Obon holiday after a marriage that I realized how my in-laws felt. Koji and I got on a bullet train to get to his parents' house. Hey, you don't have any food preferences, do you? With food in his mouth, Koji asked just as if he remembered. No, why? When I responded curiously, Koji scratched his head. Well, you see, I got a phone call from my mom yesterday asking if you have any likes and dislikes for food. Oh, that's so kind of her. I was happy. This is going to be my first time spending a meal at my in-laws. No worries. I told her that you'd eat anything except for chicken. Thanks. I was pleasantly surprised that Koji had remembered about my food preferences that I mentioned just when we started dating. Since my dad grew up in the countryside, he might be inconsiderate in some ways, but just let me know if anything concerns you, alright? I was happy that Koji was being sincere, and I smiled, nodding my head in agreement. Completely at ease, we arrived at Koji's parents' house. I received a warm welcome from my in-laws, and I even thought maybe we could try living together someday. Everything was perfect until dinner came by. Koji told me you can't eat chicken, but we received plenty of meat from our friend who owns a bird farm. Since it's just my husband and me, can you two help us finish them? I'm so sorry. With all the food filling the dinner table, Koji and I were shocked. There was a lineup of fried chicken, chicken cutlet, chicken meatball, chicken skewers, everything made with chicken. Mom, this is way too much food. I told you, Noriko can't eat chicken. Koji raised his voice at his mother. His mother mumbles with a concerned expression. Hey, it's fine. It's not like I can't have any. As I smiled at my mother-in-law, I noticed her click her tongue and glare for a split second before smiling again. Oh, really? That's great then. Please, come sit. What was that? Taken aback, I stiffened a bit. Hey, are you sure you're fine? You really don't have to. With a worried expression, Koji patted me on the back. It's fine, really. During dinner, Koji's parents were friendly, except I couldn't help but think about the cold expression of my mother-in-law that I saw earlier. Hey, do you think your parents hate me? That night, after we got into bed, I showed my concern to Koji. I'm sorry about dinner tonight. I know the farmers myself, so I'll give them a call tomorrow and see what's going on. Yeah, thanks. His words calmed me down a bit, and I was able to get to sleep. The next day, Koji made an excuse of a work emergency and rushed to a train station far from his house where he called the bird farmers. So, what did they say? When I asked nervously, Koji responded with a stressed expression. So, it turns out Mom asked for plenty of chicken. Oh, I see. Lost for words, I smiled bitterly. I felt like fainting, but... But Koji grabbed my shoulders. Hey, knowing my mother, I have a feeling that she might do this again. I can confront her, but why don't we take advantage of her? What do you mean by taking advantage? Unlike his usual calm expression, Koji's eyes were filled with anger. Your favorite food was fish, right? Like blueback? Yeah. I'll tell mom that you're allergic to seafood. Koji explained as my eyes widened. Then, I bet we'll receive loads of fish. My parents will be able to harass us while we get to enjoy our food. It's a win-win situation. And you're fine doing that? I've never been so angry at my parents my entire life. Let's get them back for what they did. All right, let's do it then. I smiled, shedding a bit of a tear. Our revenge began. As soon as we arrived home, Koji called his parents to let them know we had a safe trip back home. He also took the chance to mention my seafood allergy. Seafood, I see. Several days later, as expected, we received a large box of Pacific Sori from Koji's mother. I was genuinely impressed they were able to get so much fish. I feel bad, but I just want my son to enjoy delicious food from his hometown. 
I'm sorry. I hope you understand. When I gave my mother-in-law a phone call to show some gratitude for the fish, she fakely apologized. Oh, no worries. I understand. Even though I can't have any, Koji seems super happy. Really? That's good to hear then. When I got off the phone call, Koji had his arms crossed, seemingly disappointed. You know what's funny? She never sent me anything when I was living alone. Oh? Well, I'm so thankful for the fish. I'm gonna cook plenty of delicious seafood cuisine tonight. At this point, I had let go of my anger and sadness and was genuinely looking forward to the outcome of the situation. After that, we received seafood regularly. When winter arrived, it was like a crab festival. Thanks to Koji's parents, we were able to have all kinds of crab dishes including hot pot, sukiyaki, and many more without worrying about grocery bills. Hey, what's your mom's favorite food? I asked Koji as we were opening our package as usual. Um, I think cream puffs? Why do you ask? Cream puffs, got it. The next day, I went to my local bakery and bought a dozen of cream puffs in a variety of flavors. I sent the cream puffs to my mother-in-law with a note card. Several days later, we received a letter from Koji's mother. A letter from my mom? I wonder what's up. Standing next to Koji, I pretended to be calm and took a glance at the letter. I deeply apologize for what I have done at dinner previously. Wait, what's going on? What did you do? I smiled at Koji, who was in a panic. Well, you see, I sent your mother a bunch of cream puffs along with a letter. A letter? I let out a deep sigh and explained to Koji what I had written in the letter. Knowing how wonderful Koji is as a person, I understand that you want to be with him. From serving chicken at dinner and sending all those seafood to us, I realized how you felt. I truly love Koji with all my heart, and I'm grateful to you for raising such an amazing person. Which is why I hope we can get along and have us live together as a whole family someday. I heard you love cream puffs. Please enjoy. After I finished, Koji brought me into his arms, hugging me tightly. Thank you. This is my truth. Well, except for the part that I'm allergic to seafood. Let's just say your allergy got cured after eating all those crabs in small amounts with me. <laughs> we bursted out laughing. A couple of years later, we no longer receive seafood, but we have no regrets. My dear, how are you? My goodness, have you lost a bit of weight? <laughs> no way, I'm doing great. Being completely comfortable with my mother-in-law. For me, that is the happiest thing of all. And one day, I would like to be able to sit around the dinner table under the same roof with a smile on my face. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button! Bye!